This is your High School Spotlight presented by the LHSAA Network. The first month of the season is in the books and we've already seen some wild finishes. Down 21 to 14 and needing 10 yards with 10 seconds remaining, Parkview quarterback Abram Johnston was forced from the pocket and found senior wide receiver Jack Harrington in the back of the end zone. The touchdown pass still left the Eagles down by one. With a second remaining, Coach Stefan LaFours called a special play that looked like a design run. But Johnston saw Harrington wide open again, and his shuttle pass was on the money. The six foot four Harrington made the catch for the two point conversion, and Parkview surged ahead 22 21. According to Johnston, he never thought about playing for the tie. As soon as we scored the last touchdown, I held my hand up to go for two, and um, I mean, I, I wanted to go for two the whole time, so we were ready. In the moment, I don't even think about it, kind of just like another play, and um, came up big when, it, when we needed them. I wouldn't play my best game, missing blocks and stuff like that, so I kind of just had to cut it out of my head and just, you know, I mean, this is make it or break it, like you said. Um, I think Abram just did a great job of finding him in the end zone, and it just happened for me. The two-point play, I mean, it was no question that we were going to go for two. We, we didn't want to kick it and go into overtime with those guys. and. Um, you know, that's a play we've been practicing since week one. We just haven't had a chance to really call it. And it was um, a lot of emotion, that whole drive, um, a lot of ups and downs, and that's, that's, what, that's what we love about this game. In New Orleans, Edna Carr and St. Aug opened up Catholic League play. Carr quarterback John Johnson handed off to Desmond Favorite, who rushed in 18 yards for the game's first score. The Purple Knights used a touchdown pass from Dawson Simmons to Monroe Dillon to take their first lead of the game in the third quarter. Johnson and Carr would answer with two more touchdown passes, including a late grab by Oliver Mitchell, as the Cougars remain undefeated with the win, 27 to 16. This game was won by great throws by the quarterback in the second half and defense. Defense played four quarters. I mean, saying, oh, they just had some good calls, but defense won this game tonight. The Manny Tigers traveled south over four and a half hours to battle the undefeated Newman Greenies in Uptown. In a game that featured 11 touchdowns, Newman quarterback Eli Friend ran wild for two touchdowns and passed for four more. Manny, the defending Division III state champions, ran the ball well behind Tylen Singleton, an LSU commitment. But the Greenies offense was in high gear all night and won 49-31 to improve to 4-0. In Donaldsonville, undefeated Ascension Catholic hosted the Dunham School in non-district play. Chad Elsey gave the Bulldogs the early lead, the first of two touchdowns he'd score on the night. Dunham's freshman quarterback Elijah Haven quickly answered with a touchdown pass to Jack Como Jr., who would grab a game-high three scoring passes on the night. With just 24 seconds remaining, Tigers defensive back Bronson Bonneville made a game-saving interception in the end zone, preserving the win for Dunham 29-28. Tonight, Elijah was able to find the matchups that he needed, and, and Jack was able to win those one-on-one -on -one matchups. Uh, Elijah, for a ninth grader, stayed really poised because they were sending lots of pressure, and he was having a scramble, kept his eyes downfield, and, uh, man, just had excellent touch on those throws. We'll see you next week with more big scores and player interviews here on the High School Spotlight, presented by the LHSAA Network.